Now that we've got a little bit of the intro out of the way, let's start working with Vue. Now, if you go to Vue.js.org, the official homepage, the official site, you can see all about Vue, and here we'll click Get Started. Now, the way we can get started with Vue is you have an intro here, and we have Get Started. You can copy the script tag, drop it into an index.html file, and start working with Vue immediately. So let's come over back to our slides and we'll start seeing how we're gonna work with Vue in this course. Now our first lab is gonna be a hello world. And to get started, we'll have our starter files here. And you go to github.com slash scotch-io slash view starter course. And you can download all of those files to your computer. This is where we'll be working. And I have preset, we'll go take a look right now under github.com slash scotch-io slash view starter course. You can see that we have our lab folders here. We have a one all the way down. And here under a zero one, hello world, you can open it up. Index.html, I have it as a starter file. And index final is the final file for that lesson so that you can go back and reference it after we're done with this course. But if we open up index.html and you scroll down, you can see that I've included both jQuery and Vue here. And I'll explain why. And I've also included a Bulma CSS file, which is really helpful. We're just gonna add a little bit of CSS classes just because we're working and we're not trying to focus on CSS doesn't mean we can't make our projects look good. So if we go to bulma.io, you can also see the Bulma CSS framework that I'm using here. You can go under docs, overview, and you can start to see how we can use Bulma. But don't worry about any of that. This is just if you want to go take a look, I'll be explaining all the Bulma stuff that we're using when we go through the course. So let's close that out. Let's go back to the actual GitHub repo. Now, the ways you can get this, if you're using Git, you can do a Git clone. And here, this green button right here, clone or download, you can copy this and clone it down, or you can just download the zip and start working in that folder. Once you've downloaded all these files and you have them on your computer, go ahead and open them up in your favorite editor. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. If you aren't familiar with VS Code, go ahead and check out our other course for getting started with VS Code. And uh, while we're doing shameless plugs, we also have a getting started with JavaScript course, which would be helpful for this as well. But here we have 01 Hello World. Let's zoom in a little bit here. 01 Hello World, index.html. And this is going to be where we start our application. Let's go back to our slides just to finish this off real quick. We'll have download starter files. We'll have ways to use view. You can use it as a script tag, which is what we're gonna do for this entire course. And when we talked about, you can get into more advanced view techniques. You can use the view CLI to do a basic installation. And you can also do the view CLI a little bit more advanced to use Webpack, which is a module bundler, loader, and a little bit more advanced than what we're doing in this course. Really great tools, and we'll get to these eventually in a next upcoming course. So go ahead, download all those things, and moving forward, we're just gonna get a little bit more comfortable with the tools we're using, and then we'll finally start working with the code in our Hello World.